What it do, what it do, we back, what's up people, so, back with another one, back like we never left, alright, so, before I start the video, I just um, wanted to say something real quick, so, since I ain't got that many subscribers yet, or even when I do have a lot, I'm gonna still try to do the same thing, I like to go through the, through all my comments, and and respond to everybody you know what i'm saying because i want to show y'all that i appreciate each and every one of y'all because i really do so um as i'm going through my comments like a day or two ago i see of course you're gonna have negative comments eventually so far they all good you know what i'm saying but i know it comes with it you know what i'm saying not everybody's gonna like you so there's one comment i see that somebody said something like damn you was dumb you was dumb as hell i guess referring to when i was young all that all them stories i'm telling y'all he he said damn you was dumb as hell so that shit made me want to want to say something about that right not because i was mad i'm not mad because you know on some real shit i was dumb as hell yes i was me and a million other niggas that came up the way we came up and and were raised in these hoods and ghettos that we were raised in because unfortunately we were misled you know what I'm saying because that's exactly what happened we was just misled and you know we was raised up the wrong way you know so you can't really blame somebody that didn't know no better and that's just what happened to a lot of us you know what I'm saying but I'm gonna speak for myself that's what happened to me you know ever since I was a youngin, you know what I'm saying? Even before I was, I jumped off the porch, in my household, I was already being misled, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard to judge me when, when you don't really know my past like that. But, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. Yes, I know I was dumb as hell, made a lot of dumbass choices, but, you know, sometimes that's the cause you dealt, man. Excuse me. So with that being said, Let's get right into it. So today, uh, I, I wanted to bring y'all back a little bit to like a little bit, of, give y'all a little bit of my childhood. You know what I mean? Still a still a crazy story though. So I'm going. We're going back to '88, Yonkers, 1988. Um, like so, where where the obviously is I said the title says it all. Shit, the house got raided. So the house that got raided was my childhood, my childhood house. This is where, this is all I knew from like birth to probably like 12 years old. We lived in this one apartment on Linden Street. So Linden Street is on the Nodine Hill section of Yonkers. So you got Linden, you got Elm Street, you got Oak Street. Beach Street, Maple, um, Oliver, Victor, just a bunch of blocks. And back then, none of them blocks was nothing to be played with. That could that whole section was ridiculous back then. So really, the whole Yonkers. But that section over there, if you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway. Um, I'm a kid. I'm eight years old at this time. So I don't know nothing about no streets. Nothing like that. I'm in the crib. It's me, my sister, my moms, my pops, and my uncle. Us five living in one one little apartment. So this is obviously before my pops um, dipped and all that. So um, so this this particular day, we all home. All five of us is in the crib, which was rare because it was always usually me, my sister, and my mom. My pops and my uncle would get home late and shit, drunk and all that, and they'll just go to sleep. But this day, we was all there, and it was type early, like evening time, right? So um, I'm in the living room playing my little Nintendo and shit. My sister's doing her thing. My mom's is in the kitchen cooking, 
and my uncle and my pops was in the living room too, talking to some shit. So next thing you know, of course you already know Armageddon all over again. Not even all over again. This is actually my first Armageddon. You heard? You know, yeah, I know if y'all see my videos, you know, when I say Armageddon, I mean, you know, police rushing or raiding or whatever. That's that's what I call Armageddon. So I was dealing with Armageddon since eight years old, man. Believe it or not. So anyway, like I said, Armageddon. The doors is being blown off the hinges. We had two entrances to the to the apartment. So if you come in through the first door, you coming into the living room. If you walk down a little bit, coming through that back door, you'll be like in the kitchen area. Both of them doors got kicked down at the same time. So of course, me being so young and my sister, we don't know what's going on. All I know is that something really bad is happening. That's all I know. So it's a lot of screaming, a lot of yelling, a lot of fucking confusion. You know what I'm saying? So they drop my dad down on the floor, my uncle. They dragged my mom from the kitchen, threw her on the floor. And believe it or not, they threw me and my sister on the floor. So they got all us down on our, on our stomachs. And I'm crying and shit. I'm asking my mom what's happening. She don't know. She's asking my pops in Spanish what's happening. And he's saying he don't know. So the police is telling everybody to shut up. You know what I'm saying? It's just, like I said, confusion. A lot of loud, a lot of noise and shit. So um, they handcuffed all the adults off rip. They threw the cuffs on everybody or on them three. So that shit was traumatizing by itself. You know what I'm saying? Seeing your mom getting handcuffed, crying. Um, my dad, they threw the cuffs on him tight because I remember he made a face like, you know, when you're in pain, he did that face. So I knew they was hurting him. I mean, I remember, I remember saying something like, oh, don't hurt my dad or some shit. And my mom was telling me to shut up, to chill, just shut up. So, um, matter of fact, it was, that, that, that birthed my hatred towards the police, believe it or not. Since, since that day, you know what I'm saying? I remember, I never looked at the police no type of way until that day. Ever since that day, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm so young and shit, I'm, I'm like realizing, damn, these dudes are actually my enemy, you know what I'm saying? If you could hurt my moms and hurt my pops and shit, then you're the bad guys, you know? That's how I seen it. So, you know, that like I said, at, by eight years old, that, that, that shit that we, that we get, towards the police, I already had it by that age. Um, well, that day I started it, you know what I'm saying? So um, so they stand they stand everybody up, put everybody, um, sit everybody on the couches and shit. So the three adults is handcuffed, me and my sister just sitting there. So they got like two, two or three cops. Uh, it was like Warren Squad, you know, I didn't know what they were then, but that's what they was, it was the Warren Squad. Um, they had search warrants and shit, so they didn't have to ask nobody nothing. They just sat everybody down and they went to work. So you could hear them destroying the whole crib back there. You could hear, you could literally hear them throwing shit down. You know what I'm saying? And my mom's just asking my pops in Spanish, um, Yo, "What they looking for? Dude, like, is there something in my house that I don't know about?" He ain't saying nothing. The most he doing is shaking his head. Like, you know what I mean? He ain't talking though. He just shaking his head. So she keep asking him, she getting tight. And I remember her saying, yo, they're going to take my kids. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what the fuck going on. They're going to take my kids. So um, he, he ain't budged. He wasn't saying nothing. So my mom's had a table in the middle of the living room. I think there's a name for those tables. It's just a square, long square table. But anyway, she had, a, um, you know, the couch set. And then with the plastic on it, remember back in the days, them couches? We had them couches with the plastic wrap around them. And then we had a, um, a table in the middle, right in the middle. So we all sitting there. We can't move. And little by little, the police starts bringing stuff out the rooms and putting it on the table because they throwing everything right there because so that, that's where they was going to do all their inventory and bag up whatever they found. 
before they took it out of the house. So we could all clearly see what they putting on the, on the table. So the first thing they bring out is mad coke. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? It's a clear coming out in clear bags and shit. I don't know what really what it is, but I know for sure it's something re- very very bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, damn, what the fuck is this? So they they bring out mad coke. They put it on the table. Now my mom's face completely changes, and um, you know now she looks tight and scared and shit. So now she's telling my pops to tell the police that she has nothing to do with this shit. Right? She's like, yo, tell them right now that I don't know nothing about these drugs because they're going to end up taking me and they're going to take the kids. And I remember being mad scared. So I'm looking at my pops and he ain't saying nothing. And I'm getting tight because I'm like, dog, they about to take us. Like, you ain't hear what my mom just said? Like, tell them she don't know nothing. But now that I'm grown, I, I, I hated my pops for a long time after this day because I felt like he didn't care about us enough to to get my mother out that situation. But now that I know about the law and I've been arrested mad times, I know what he was doing. Cause really, you ain't supposed to talk to these to these people. You're not supposed to talk to the police if you really know, you know what I'm saying, about about the, the, the street game. You don't talk to them. You don't say nothing to them. You let the lawyers talk to them. That's what the lawyers is there for. You know what I'm saying? You have a right to remain silent. And then the next thing is, everything you say is going to be used against you. I learned that shit young. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a whole video on that shit. Because I, I done beat cases behind just just staying shut. Like, it's, it, it, it bugs me out how so many people jam themselves up just by running their mouth. Like, anyway, I'll get all worked up. Because that shit, that, shit, that shit be bugging me out. But I'm going to do a nice video about that shit. Anyway, um... So, 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 like, now I understand what he was doing. He was just smart enough to know, if I say, if I say anything to them and tell them that you don't know nothing about this shit, then obviously, how do, you know, then, then I know something about it. You know what I'm saying? So he's just like, chill, let the lawyers deal with it. You know what I'm saying? I get it now. But like I said, I hated him for it for a long time. So um, they bring out, Two um, uh, triple beam scales, couple other like like mad paraphernalia. I guess what they used to use up, use to bag up and shit. They bring all that shit. They throw all that shit on the table. So it's real bad. Um, once they done, Mom Duke's telling them, say, tell them I don't know nothing. He never said a word. So they take, they stand the adults up. And they start marching them out to the to the police cars and shit. My mom is screaming. I'm yelling. My sister. So they asking my mom, does does um does she have anybody that can stay with the kids? So the neighbor was real cool with us from upstairs. So the neighbor was like, I'll take them. So she, you know, the neighbor grabbed us, and they locked up all three of them. Crazy ass night, yo. So, um, so now all three of them is locked up. Like probably a week goes by. And my mom come home. She comes home. So she gets out. I think they dropped all the charges on her, which, like I said, I'm sure the lawyers did their thing, got her off the case quick. You know what I'm saying? So um, she comes home. She grabs us. We ain't seen her in, in like a week. She grabs us from the neighbors, puts us in the car. It's me, my sister, and my older cousin Sosa. Um, he's like a teenager at this time though. So um we all all three of us in the car. My mom started driving. She's driving, she drives down to Dykeman, that area over there. And she's going like from block to block. And they her and my cousin Sosa is jumping out and asking for a certain name. I forgot the name they was asking for, but they was asking for somebody. And everybody was like, nah, I don't know, I don't know. I, like, they was all, like, just brushing them off. So, finally, she gets, she, she sees somebody else, she jumps out. They, they, her and my cousin asked the dude for the guy. And the dude is like, oh, yeah, they, they killed him, like, three days ago. So, she was like, they killed him. He was like, yeah, yeah, he got shot in the head, like, a couple of days ago. So, that shit spooked the shit out of my mom. Because I remember her getting in the car... And she said, fuck this, I'm done. I'm not, because 
So what happened was my pops had sent a message to my moms to go look for this guy. I think this guy was the plug and my pops was trying to get money off him for the bail, for the lawyers and all that, I'm guessing. Um, and um, so my mom's, you know, ride or die, she went and did it. But once she's, once they said, you know, now it was niggas getting murdered and shit, she said, nah, I don't want nothing to do with this. She got us, she got back in the car and she drove back to Yonkers. And that was that, you know. Um, so the story goes on from there, but I'm just, I just want to tell y'all my experience, you know, like what I went through. Because of course the, the story goes much, much, much further than that. But that's my pop story to tell, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just, like I said, I want to tell y'all my, my trauma, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so we, we drive back home and shit was just crazy. But what was real crazy about, about this whole shit, right? Um, and this is from what I was saying earlier, how if you from where I'm from or grew up anywhere similar to where I grew up, it's bugged out. Well, like I said, we're misled because... Now, me and my sister go outside. We go, we still on Linden. We go outside to play. All the kids is like, yo, your father's dope. Your father this. They praising my pops. So, like, the dudes, the young boys in the neighborhood, we looked up to that. You feel me? I remember after that, always saying, I can't wait to get older because I'm going to do the same thing he did. You feel me? Like, that's the mentality. So, that's what I meant in the beginning of this video. You know what I'm saying? If you don't really understand where we came from and how we came up, it's hard to judge. That's why I don't judge nobody. Nobody. I'm not that type of dude. I don't judge nobody for nothing they do, especially if I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I hope y'all like this joint, like always. I really hope a couple of these youngins, man, see this this shit and just realize that it, it's, it's all a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? It looks... It looks real cool now, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? It ain't cool. So I'm going to keep hitting y'all with these stories. I'm really enjoying myself. I see the numbers is slowly going up. So, man, just keep liking, subscribing, share. Just do all that interacting because the more we interact, the more the numbers will go up. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. So, like I said, I hope y'all liked it, man. And uh, I love y'all, man. One.